What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys a guide on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's guide, we're going to be showcasing how to obtain the Champion's Tunic and the Hylian Shield within this game. If you guys do find today's guide informative or if you guys want to see more guides on the channel, make sure you leave a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the guides and content for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But before we get started here with obtaining both of these pieces of shield and this uh, amazing piece of armor, we're going to have a few requirements. One is you are going to need enough stamina to reach the Hyrule Castle. So in order to reach Hyrule Castle, you have to take this tower up and you're going to have to fly across and land on it. So if you do not have about like three stamina vessels, you might need four stamina vessels, then you're going to need some elixir. And I actually pre-made some, but I will show you guys the recipe that I did use. So where are my recipes at? I go over, I have these stamina elixirs right here. And what I actually use is three restless crickets and a Bakublin horn. So obviously in order to get Bakublin horns, you just have to go around fighting Bakublins, but for the restless crickets you have to just like cut up grass and stuff in order to get them but i'm just going to showcase it real quick how to get this little energy elixir so i'm going to go over here into my inventory and i'm going to grab a nice little bakuban horn i'm going to hold it and i'm also going to hold three restless crickets so i'm going to drop them in here and cook it up bada bing bada boom and we get some energizing elixir so you can actually use that in the air when your glider stamina is running low to actually recharge it and make you glide a little bit farther so for the restless crickets, again, you just have to go outside and cut some grass. I'll showcase how easy it actually is to actually get it. So I'm just going to head over here, grab some restless crickets. I'll probably just find one and you guys can do the rest. But again, you just chop up grass and you will eventually find them. I think I just found one right there. Nope, did not find one. Thought I saw a little speckle, but they might only come out in the daytime. Not too sure, but if I just keep chopping grass, there's one. There you go. You just keep chopping up the grass and eventually you will just farm a bunch of them. Another requirement that you are going to need is going to be something to set torches on fire. You need some sort of fire. So if you do not have fire fruit, you might want to obtain some fire fruit. You get plenty of it in the beginning of the game. So you're definitely going to want that because you can throw it or you can connect it to an arrow to actually light things on fire. But with all those requirements out the way, all you want to do is go head over to the Hyrule Castle. And you can actually do this very early in the game. As you guys can see, I'm not too far in the game. I'll show you guys my map. Nothing crazy big, but we're going to head over to Hyrule Castle by examining this tower and shooting ourselves up. So once I get an air over here, I'm just going to want to go straight towards the castle, right into the middle. Right into the front doors, pretty much. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to start moving now, and I'm just going to bring out my glider and slowly try to get as far as I can. I have just enough stamina to actually make it there, but if I need more, I have those extra stamina uh, elixirs, so it's going to be really good for us. So... We're just going to keep dropping, flying as far as we can. And obviously, the game doesn't intend you to be at this castle because I'm pretty sure the final boss fight is over here. And this is for endgame. But this is where the Hylian Shield is at and the Champion Student. So I want to go over there and I want to get it as soon as possible. So that's why I'm bringing you guys this guide. So hopefully you guys can actually obtain these items too. Because again, early game, it's kind of tough when you're using like terrible items and like your armor. You don't really have any armor. So getting these two are going to be a huge boost. Definitely a huge boost. So as I make my way down, I want to kind of just go right in that middle door. You guys can see I'm kind of just floating right towards that middle door. I might need some more elixir. I might use it in the air. All you got to do is hit the plus button, go over to your meals, and just drink an elixir bottle. There you go. And now I'm back up to full stamina, and I can glide as far as I want to. <laughs> so as we make our way down, we're just going to keep going towards this front door. It's pretty simple. You don't have to fight any enemies when collecting these two. You just have to dodge a few. So be prepared to dodge a few. And uh yeah, don't 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 try to trigger any any enemies that uh that you wouldn't want to fight. Because most of these guys are gonna one-shot you, especially if you're doing this early game. But as I make my way to Hyrule Castle, the first floor, the champion's tunic is right up here and it's very simple to get. So we already use our one requirements, the restless crickets and all that. The second requirement, like I said, we need some fire fruit or some way of lighting stuff on fire. So we make our way to the sanctum, and as we go up to these stairs, we go to the left side, we just make our way up here, and there should be two things that we can light on fire. Two little cauldrons, kind of, looking things, two big torches, fire pits, and we're just going to take out our bow, or if you do not have any arrows, just throw fire fruit at it, and just light both these on fire. I'm going to light that one, I'm going to light this one, and after that, right behind you, this little statue is going to open up, and inside... This little statue is going to be a chest obtaining or having 
the champion's tunic, which is absolutely amazing. A really good piece of armor that you can get early game. So I'm actually going to throw that bad boy on. I'm actually going to throw that bad boy on. Look at that. Looking real spiffy. So from here, to get the high lane shield, the second thing that I told you guys that we're going to obtain in today's video, you're going to want to go back down these steps, and you're going to go over here towards this big opening up these steps. So you're going to head all the way out here, get outside the castle, and you're going to want to jump off, dodge all the scoop first and foremost. You're going to want to jump off this ledge right here. So you're going to jump off this ledge, and you're going to make your way right onto this pathway down here. So on this pathway, you're going to have a bunch of, I think they're called, uh... Hoblins, they're the giant monkey enemies and they're gonna see you and this is where you gotta do a little bit of dodging They're gonna hop down and stuff if they hit me. I'm dead, but I'm gonna just keep running past them And I'm gonna keep going You can tap your sprint button try to get away from them because these guys are scary And once you get past them You just want to make your way to the shrine right here And the reason you want to make it to the shrine is a they're gonna stop chasing you and b the shrine can act as a uh as a safe point because you can always fast travel to this uh, shrine after you do it. I haven't did the shrine yet, but I highly recommend doing the shrine because again, it acts as a fast travel point in case you die or mess up. So after you get to the shrine, after you complete the shrine, however you guys want to do it, you want to actually just head over here and actually just jump off this cliff right here. So you're going to jump off this cliff with your full stamina and you're going to make your way all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom, kind of go towards this middle water right here. Because there's going to be a cave entrance to the docks of Hyrule. So I'm going to make my way slowly right here. Fall down a little bit more. And I'm just going to glide through this cave right here. So in this cave, it leads us to the docks and to the Hylian Shield. So I'm going to make my way through the docks. I'm going to come all the way across. You might have to swim just a tad bit. But try to glide as far as possible. Again, you should have made energy potions just in case you have to swim and do other things. So as I make my way to the docks, I'm going to head up here. And typically there is hands here, like the gloom hands. The dark annoying hands that always pick you up and kill you but i actually already killed mine already if they are still here you can actually hop off the side of this cliff as they're chasing you but you have to like proc them to chase you first and then make your way over to where they spawn which is going to be about right here and you can hang on this wall and if you do it correctly they're going to be like right above you trying to get you they're actually going to kill themselves by kind of just staying there so if you just stay here and if you see them above you right on this little pillar they're going to kill themselves. But if they don't kill themselves, you can actually lure them back over to the stairs. Come climb up this wall, time it right, hop over here, and run past them. Because what you want to do is just run here, go over here, get past the gloom. Actually, I hopped on the wall, and I got gloomed just a little bit, but it happens. And once you make it past those, those guys right there, you're going to be able to obtain the Hylian Shield. Because you just got to come here and light this giant cauldron on fire. So I'm going to pull out my fire fruit again. On my arrow, I'm going to shoot it right there. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The chest for the best shield in the game. The Hylian Shield. Where's that chest at? It's right here. And check this chest out. Or just check out this shield. This shield looks absolutely amazing. The Hylian Shield. I can't carry more shields. But I just got it, which is awesome. But I'm just going to drop this little Boko Shield. And there it is. A lovely Hylian Shield for my keeping. Let me put it on for you guys real quick. We got the champion's tunic, and we got this Hylian shield on. Looking amazing. Can I bring it out? I can't. Look at that. Look at that. Looking absolutely glorious. I love it. I love it so much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, let me know in the comment section down below other guides you want to see for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.